Yeah, for sure. You know, we're going to tend to see more clouds than sunshine yeah. throughout the day, but I think we'll lean into a bit more sun as the day goes on. That's so it. plenty of beauty to get out there and see. I think we had some backyard wildlife. There oh, too. yeah. Like <laughs> some squirrels uh, hanging out there. So whatever it is, uh, yeah, weather's going to be very conducive for it out there today. No threat of any rain. And we're starting to see some hints of daylight here as we take a live look over Greer this morning, uh, Wade Hampton Boulevard there. Little bit of traffic heading by from uh, time to time. Uh, there's one car anyway. <laughs> At least uh, for your morning commute here, we're not dealing with any uh, adverse weather conditions on your way out the door. It's 61 degrees. Nice mild start to the day as well in Greer. South wind coming in at 8 miles per hour. It will get a little breezier as the day goes on, but still feeling very good. Nice and warm after what is already a pretty warm start to the day, all things considered. 58 Lawrence, 59 in Anderson and Clemson on your way out the door. Also 59 degrees in Spartanburg. Greenville's at 62. Greenwood's at 60 degrees. we got 60s in the mountains too. Asheville and uh, Hendersonville both at 60 degrees already and Brevard sitting at 61. Cloudy skies for the most part here on first alert radar this morning. The clouds are thickest across the mountains and trying to spill over into parts of northern Pickens and Greenville counties, but uh, thinning out a bit as you head farther south. Those showers that you see to the west of us, don't worry about those. They're going to fall apart before they have a chance to reach the area, as will most of this storm activity uh, that you see in uh, western Tennessee and into Mississippi. What we are going to be paying more attention to is this cold front today back over Oklahoma and into Missouri. As that moves off of the plains, it's going to refire a large outbreak of storms anywhere from southwest Michigan into Louisiana today, and then that activity will tend to slide our way late tonight and on into tomorrow. So taking you through the next 24 hours here, future track showing us those cloudy skies for the most part as we're getting up 7 o'clock hour. Actually, exactly 7 a.m. is when the sun will rise today. Going toward mid morning, still cloudy, but watch what happens here as we head toward about midday. We start to thin out the clouds a little bit. We're not going to full blown sunshine as we head into the afternoon, but at least more opportunities to see it. So afternoon activities, practices for the kids, games, whatever it may be, things looking increasingly good as the day goes on. No threat of any rain that'll hold until about eight o'clock this evening when the next round of clouds will then start to filter on in. Isolated showers may be possible during the overnight period, but by eight o'clock tomorrow morning, we will see some scattered showers and thunderstorms rolling on in ahead of that next cold front. That'll persist until about midday when then we see some refiring of storms from about Greenville and Spartanburg on southeast through about six o'clock uh, tomorrow evening. And with that in mind, some of those refiring storms tomorrow afternoon will have the potential to be severe uh, with the threat of maybe some damaging wind. So we will keep you updated on that. But as for today in the upstate, nice warm 80 degrees coming our way. Scattered storms 75 tomorrow, then some spotty shower chances still in the cards for east Easter weekend, but warm in the 70s. Mountain forecast 70s today, tomorrow when the storms arrive and also looking at those spotty showers with 60s and then some 70s as we head into Easter weekend.